and welcome to another edition of Periscope. I'm Vivian Ecclefield. Well, the city of Paris is breaking ground once again. This time, it's an apartment complex called the Paris Station Apartments, aptly named for its convenient proximity to the Metrolink station. We spoke with the city officials that made it all happen. I'm here with Michael McDermott, who is the city's redevelopment and economic development manager. Michael, tell us about the project from beginning to end. Wow. Well, as I said on the podium, uh, we started acquiring this site in 2005. We started designing this project in 2006. We really thought we'd be building it maybe 2007, early 2008, and here we are early 2012. And the goal in mind when you started this? General economic development and redevelopment for the, the, the city in this street. The building's envelope has pretty much stayed the same because it's zero lot line on the sidewalks, but the inside and the courtyards and things have changed. So what we have is a, a really beautiful end product. It's really going to be a great building. It was always, though, for low-income senior citizens, right? Oh. And what were the other parameters? Well, that was pretty much it, except I wanted a, I wanted some type of retail draw also, so the bottom 10,000 feet of the building are offices and restaurants type thing, so that should be really good for this street. So. Hey, I'm curious, as far as design went, mm -hmm. was it something that you tried to tie in with historic D Street or not? Yes and no. If, if you go down to uh, four blocks down on D and Forest, we have some 1888 buildings and 1886 buildings that are a brick and concrete look. And that's sort of what we wanted to go with. We started with like a almost a step row brownstone house and we didn't like it. And we kept fiddling with it, fiddling with it. And, and now it's, I, I, th I think it's a beautiful building. We're here with Mayor Daryl Bush. Mayor, tell us about this new complex and how it plays into the entire development for Paris. Well, this complex is a senior uh, uh, development. It's going to have retail on the bottom level, and the second and third floors is going to be senior uh, apartments. What's good about it, it will have um, hopefully some retail, the seniors. It'll be next door to the senior center office. It's going to be uh, right next door to the Metrolink station, which you can see right there. You know, what's also nice about this location is its proximity to the entrance to the whole downtown. Right. This is the old historic downtown entrance right there so it's, it's going to be a keystone of the, the, the whole downtown too. It, it really is more development going on in downtown Paris. All right we're here with Marion Ashley who's county supervisor here. Marion tell us about how this plan plays into the entire redevelopment plan for Paris. Well this is just another piece of the puzzle and you just look around here in that, in that downtown you look we've already redone this this the highway in front of this all the way through and it's beautiful. How does the city decide on what projects to do? Well, they, they look around, they actually look and say, what do we need? What, what do the, the people of Paris really need and, and, uh, and, and what resources do we have? And they try to leverage their monies and you know, they work with, with, the, with uh, public-private partnerships in many cases to try to get more out of the scarce funds that are available. And that's how you end up with these beautiful apartments like this. And there must have been a need for senior housing. Uh, senior housing is barely needed because, you know, we're all getting older, me included. So uh, we all need help. And uh, this, is, this is just a great step forward for the city of Paris. And uh, they've been bringing in jobs in the industrial area. And they're doing all kinds of wonderful things. We're here with City Council Member Mark Yarbrough. Mark, tell us about what this project means to Paris and downtown. Well, you know, this, this particular project is kind of special in the, in the fact that it, it took so long to move it forward. Uh, with the economy, uh, there was environmental challenges, uh, a, a lot of things, but, uh, you know, did he actually see it come forward to where it is right now? And, and this, this is that we're, we're launching it, finally. And uh, we got a great developer. It, it means a lot. It's, it's going to complete uh, a huge piece of, of the, the northern downtown area, uh, a huge anchor for us. When a city goes to develop something like this, um, how do you how do you prioritize them? How did you decide on this project now? Well, it, it was actually it went it went further back. Uh, we we knew we had a need for uh, senior housing, affordable senior housing, and uh, you know working with 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 the community, some of the property owners, you just couldn't ask for it any better than this. This project is going to be really really nice when it's finished. You know, what's really impressive is how you meet the needs of your residents, and you do listen to what they want, and that's how you decide on different projects. Yeah, and, and that you, you'll see that uh, we, we, we have a, 
uh, a very solid council that's in touch with the needs. We're, we're, we're all working class people, very broad experience, uh, and we have an outstanding staff that, that just makes it happen. So, uh, and that's our jobs as electeds. And in, in here, we just we have a great chemistry with the city that uh, we, we are able to uh, meet the needs of our community, really. We're here with Richard Belmuda, city manager. Richard, give us an idea of how this project fits into the whole redevelopment picture for Paris. Sure. Well, it's another piece of the puzzle, and in particular, it's a big piece of the puzzle downtown. Obviously, at the northerly end of downtown, it's really the entryway and the anchor for all that we've been doing in downtown Paris. It's another important reason because it brings a, an important element that we, we can't have just on our own, and that's it brings people into this community. And in this case, it's a special uh, demographic that's historically been underserved, so we're glad to be able to provide housing for our senior community. It provides uh, people in the streets in our downtown, and it provides customers for the retail we hope to attract. And it really just gives us one more uh, destination point for the city. So we're really happy to get to, the, to this day today. We're here with Michael Costa, who is the development manager for this project. Is that right? Yeah, we're actually the development company that uh, has been sponsoring this for, we've been working for the city now for three years to uh, bring this to fruition, so yes. Can you describe some of the features that are involved in the project? Sure, it's a, it's a very nicely develop, um, designed community. It'll have uh, 84 total units. About 20% of those will be two bedrooms, the rest will be one bedrooms. Uh, it'll have a very nice uh, clubhouse recreation facility, and so we have a lot of recreational activities going on every day. That's great, and it's such a great location being right at the entrance to the downtown. It's just a brand new, shiny gateway to downtown, if you will. Oh, it's, a, it's a tremendous location. When you really you know, take a step back and look at it geographically, you've got City Hall across the street. You have the new Senior Center, which we will be very actively involved with, both sponsoring programs there and then coming over to our community. And then hopefully someday this will become a nice you know, transit corridor so that people can get to other areas rather easily. So from a location standpoint, and amenities, what we call, you know, site amenities, uh, phenomenal. It's, it's really well located, and I think it helps to build the future here, too, as well. This property sits right at the entrance to historic D Street, and up to now has just been an empty lot. This project will provide a bright, welcoming entrance to downtown Paris and symbolize another example of the city's determination to meet the needs of its community. And that's another edition of Periscope. I'm Vivian Ecclefield. We'll see you next time.